Extravagant generosity sits at the heart of Christmas, doesn't it? When you think of the Father sending the Son into the world, thou didst leave thy throne and thy kingly crown when thou camest to earth for me. When you think of Jesus entering our world, vulnerable, exposed, leaving all of his heavenly rights, how can you think of anything else but extravagant generosity? Of course, at this time of year, generosity is all around us, isn't it? Expressed especially through the giving and the receiving of presents. But also the divine image is seen in, in so much of humankind through so many people giving of their money and their time and their talents, particularly at this time of year for those who are less fortunate than themselves. At Christmas time, so many more people seem to be generous in spirit, don't they? Of course, particularly at Christmas, us here in the YBA staff team, we're conscious and thankful for all the generosity that's been expressed towards us over this last year. As we think of our member churches, our ministers, those in leadership, we're conscious of all the love and the care and the support that we've received. And we want to say that we're really thankful for our for our partnership in the gospel. And we want to assure you of our prayers, uh, particularly at this time of heightened anxiety, with the spread of Omicron, the uncertainty of the future, that the thought of another lockdown, which fills some of us with dread, doesn't it? But our prayer is that we may know once again the generosity of God expressed towards us at Christmas, as he comes to us in his Son, to remind us even in the midst of challenges, that he is with us, that he is alongside us, Emmanuel, God with us. So our prayer is that as we approach Christmas Day, for you it may be a time of great rejoicing and celebration. Our prayers come to you and we want to wish you all a very happy Christmas.